Hi, my name is Mark Gatter from tunnelvisionltd.co.uk and thank you for checking out these videos on Adobe InDesign CC, the best layout program ever. If you like the video, then please do check out my website, tunnelvisionltd.co.uk or .com. And on the homepage, you'll find a link to the complete course list, either on Udemy or Skillshare. I, of course, invite you to sign up. And if you like the course, please tell me. And if you've got a question, please contact me and tell me. I will respond. If you've got an idea about something else that you'd like to see a video about, and you tell me and I make a video, I will send you a free coupon to my videos on Udemy or Skillshare. So please check it out. What have you got to lose? How about if I wanted to add bullets to this block of text? Now what I really want to do is put a bullet at the beginning of each paragraph and I could create a separate text frame just outside this one down the left hand side and carefully put my bullets in and make sure that they're in the right position. What a drag. How much easier would it be if I can put them right inside this frame? But in order to create the appearance I want, I have to do a sort of negative first line indent in order to put the bullet off to the left. And you can't do that. It's got to be inside the frame. So I can't give it a negative left hand indent. Now all this text right now is in a paragraph style called bullets. And I've put a little bit of space after for each paragraph, so there's a little bit of space between them. But now I'm going to edit it so that I can add bullets within the frame just how I want. So first I'll deselect Command-Shift-A and then I'll double click on the bullet style to open it. Then I'm going to go down to bullets and numbering. So it says list type none. I could choose bullets, I could choose numbers which would number each paragraph consecutively. So I'm going to choose bullets and immediately horrible things happen. It's chosen this bullet and there's a big ugly indent after it. This is not what I want at all. So the first thing I'm going to do is choose the bullet I want. And to do that, I'm going to click on Add. And this is a glyphs window which shows every font on your system. I'm going to scroll down and see if I can find Wingdings 2 because that's a really good font for bullets. There it is. And if I scroll down a bit, there we go, the bullet of my dreams. OK, and there it is, and I can click on it and now the bullets in the frame have become that. So how to deal with a horrible indent. Left indent is set at zero. First line indent is set at zero. I can't give this a negative first line indent until after I've given it a positive left indent. So I'm going to click on the up arrow here and give it a positive left indent of five. Now I can give it a negative first line indent of up to minus five. And that is the appearance that I wanted. How about if you want to change the color of the bullets? Well, let's go back in again, double click, and go back to bullets and numbering. And it says character style none. But I can create a character style right here. And I'm going to call it bullets. And then the only thing I'm going to change is character color. And I'll choose magenta. OK, and look, they've already become magenta. Best of all, I've got this character style available to me should I wish to apply magenta anywhere else. So I'm going to use a shortcut of Command or Control and the spacebar. And of course, because I'm in the Type tool, I want to make absolutely sure the Command key goes down slightly ahead of the spacebar. Then you click and drag and you let go. And there we are. If I single click on a word, there's a cursor entry point. If I double click on a word, it selects the word. If I triple click, one, two, three, it selects the line. Quadruple click selects the entire paragraph. And five click selects all the text. I can just double click on a word and then click on the bullet style and it instantly becomes magenta. So bullets are actually quite easy to do if you know how. Otherwise, they'll drive you nuts. So I hope that video was really useful to you, and please do let me know what you think. You can contact me through my website at www.tunnelvisionltd.co.uk. Please do. I look forward to hearing from you. Bye.